my channel thanks for watching you guys it's been a hot minute since i have filmed a video i'm so dang excited to be back to filming to uploading i have never taken this long of a break from youtube ever there's a lot that's been happening in my life and it was almost just kind of like a necessary thing to focus on other things um and there's just a lot that's happened in life i'm gonna fill y'all in and also i put a question box on my instagram for you guys to ask me some questions and i will address some of those questions here too Whew, but oh my gosh okay where do i even start <laughs> um 20 21 was a crazy year and I have to mark it as probably one of the best years of my life with just growing in my faith, growing in my personal life, growing in my business life. Um, as some of you may know, I have a shop on Etsy. In 2021, it pretty much took over my life in a way that I never thought it would be and I'm so thankful for that. So <laughs> um, the end of the summer in August, I made the crazy decision to move across the country to Florida as just a new chapter and a new adventure <laughs> and I honestly didn't even know what lied ahead and it was much more challenging for me than I ever thought it would be and I struggled with this move far more than I ever thought I ever would. Um, this is just something, so yes, I'm in Florida. Okay, sorry, my camera died. Um, yes. I'm in Florida. If some of you don't know, I was born and raised in Michigan. At one time, my entire family lived within 30 minutes of one another. And then slowly over the years, everyone moved, including my parents and my siblings. So I always stayed in Michigan uh, up until this year. My lease was ending and I had the decision to stay or to go. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm young, I don't have kids. I don't have things tying me to one certain place. Why don't I try it out? So. That's what I'm doing, and I'm trying out Florida for a year. <laughs> um, I'm making that commitment to be here for a year, and then from there, I can decide whether I want to move back. I um, am having a few people let me know once the current tenant moves out of my old townhome because I love that townhome so much. Um, everything about it, the view, my neighbor, just everything that I had to offer, it was perfect for me. I loved it. So um, once that becomes available, then I can have the option to go back to it. My my aunt and my uncle that are like my second parents want me to move with them to Nashville or with them not with them but they live in Nashville they want me to move there to Nashville so I don't know I have some options when the time comes I will have a better idea on whether I want to stay here or if I want to try somewhere new like Nashville um, to be with my be closer to my aunt and my uncle or if I want to go back home to Michigan I have no idea where the Lord is gonna put me it's something that I'm certainly praying about but for now I am here um, and I'm closer to my siblings which is so nice I've been able to spend a lot of time with my sister um, I have a younger brother and a younger sister so it's been nice just having them right down the road and um, but there is a lot that I miss about home and I'm homesick but um, it is nice having warmer weather in the winter. It's the middle of January right now, and it's so warm outside. <laughs> I'm in a beautiful apartment, um, a very overpriced, expensive apartment, but I'm blessed to be able to be here, and I'm really thankful. I know everything works out for a reason. The Lord has a plan for everybody, and I'm trusting Him. So this is where I am currently at, <laughs> but it definitely has been a hard road and a hard journey. So um, I made that move across the country. I moved into this apartment and gosh what else um shortly after I moved my grandma's health really declined and we received the call from my grandpa to come back up uh, back to Michigan because he didn't really know where things were gonna go so that was so scary um, and very hard to deal with we literally packed all of our things um, in a matter of like an hour and hopped on the road and drove back up to Michigan, picked up my aunt, and <laughs> continued north. Um, my grandma was in the hospital for a little while. She was just dealing with some health issues. We were at the hospital every single day in our hometown. Um, and it was a really trying, hard, emotional time. She's doing a lot better now. She is actually in a um, assisted living care home. So that has been hard for a lot of people in my family. My mom, my aunt, my grandpa. Um... <laughs> Um, but she is in really good hands. 
Oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd get emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she's in really good hands. Um, she's at one of the top nursing homes in Northern Michigan and um, we video chat often and she's so happy and she um, still recognizes everybody. She's dealing with some dementia, so. Anyways, um, that's been another thing that's been hard to kind of navigate at the end of last year. That happened in October, like a week before my birthday. We were supposed to go to Disney for my birthday. That kind of got delayed because of that, but that's okay. I still have a Disney trip planned. Hopefully in the near future, hopefully for my sister's birthday, we'll go. But I know she wants to go to Nashville. Okay, we'll be in Tennessee. Anyways, um, so I was home in um, October for that kind of family emergency deal. And then I just booked a flight the other day to go back home the end of this month. So I will be back home <laughs> in Michigan the end of this month here in like three weeks. I'm so excited to see everybody and see friends and family, just some special people and do some fun things. Um, I really am homesick. So this is a trip that I'm really looking forward to. So I'm excited for that. I also hope that you guys had a really good Christmas and New Year's for Christmas this year. It was really different for my family, just as I know it was for a lot of people. Um, me and my sister took a road trip to Nashville to my aunt and my uncle's house and that was so fun. That was my sister's um, and I's first road trip together, so that was fun. But Christmas was a little different because we didn't have my grandparents there um, because of the situation and my brother wasn't able to be there. But um, it was still a lot of fun to be able to see a lot of my other family members. We had such a good time, it was so fun and it was a much needed time just a way to relax and enjoy some good quality family time and just to be in Tennessee. I love Tennessee. It's so peaceful there. So that was different. It was a little hard and very different of a holiday, but I'm thankful nonetheless that I was able to be there and to see some of my other family members. What else? Um, I spent a good amount of time working on a new color launch for the beginning of this year. It's so pretty I'm so excited about it um fun fact of that new color is that that was actually a special custom order that a customer had ordered and once it was done I fell in love with it I was like I have to have this on my shop I have to offer it so that is new I'm also working on a few new product launches like new products which I'm so excited about a lot goes into that business um, and I'm so thankful for it so if you've ever made a purchase from my Etsy shop thank you so much I'm also working on a few other business things there's a lot to come in 2022 and I'm so excited for it so let's get into the um, questions finally that um, came through on Instagram that you guys are kind of wanting to know okay so this question is um, what has been the biggest change in you since being gone and that took me a while to think about. I feel like there's a lot. I feel like I've <laughs> been in a lot of uncertain situations this year, especially with my move. I went back and forth for months. Like, do I stay in Michigan in the home that I love um, with my friends and family and what I'm familiar with? Or do I take a leap of faith and jump into the unknown um, in a new area? And sure, I have some family here, but everything is different. Like the people are different very different um <laughs> uh the traffic is so bad and it's just a new area and new dynamics and just everything around me would be changing so I, i've really had to rely on the lord and i've had some really hard days where i've wondered if i've made the right decision and in, in moving here but again i'm just committing for a year and at the end of that year i will make a decision if i want to go back or somewhere else or stay whatever it is um Thankfully, I can take my businesses anywhere, so that has been such a blessing. So I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for this year. I know there's a lot to come. I think the biggest change in me has been really stepping out into the unknown and just trusting the Lord with everything, <laughs> which has been scary but secure in the same sense. Um, so yeah, I would say that. Learning to really trust on the Lord. Okay, question is, how can we get a good figure by exercising? So, um, the best advice is consistency and working out and diet. Like, eat healthy, drink healthy, stay consistent in your workout. By the way, y'all, it is January 3rd, and so far I have done five workouts. My body, my booty is sore, but <laughs> I love working out, and I'm so determined to be in the best shape of my life. I absolutely just love 
working out and being fit, so the, the, the sore booty is worth it. <laughs> uh, for me, I like to do like a 10 minute cardio workout, whether that's on the elliptical or going on a walk, trails, whatever it is, or even the treadmill in the gym. Um, I love squats, I love lunges, I love hip thrust, I love um, like side to sides, I love any kind of ab workout. So um, yeah, that, that's my best advice, just staying consistent and eat clean. Um, and like switch up. I love Pinterest for different kind of workout ideas. I actually just pinned a ton So I'll put my Pinterest down below. You guys can check out my workout boards. Also, I Made a whole board for a Bible in a year because that's one thing that I have really wanted To do for a while now is read the whole Bible in a year and a few people in my life have done it before So it's really motivated me to want to do it and personally, it's just something I've wanted to do for a while. So I jumped on Pinterest to get some ideas and some motivation and kind of like a plan that I would be able to easily stick to and commit to. So I have a whole board on Pinterest for a Bible of the Year. You can join me in that if you want to. You're more than welcome to. I'd love that. So I think that covers everything. I hope I'm not missing anything. Um, follow me on Instagram if you guys want to keep up with me on the daily. I post on there. I'm on stories every single day. That's the best way to keep in touch with me. But I'm so excited to be back on YouTube in 2022. This year is going to be amazing, you guys. I have so many content ideas, business ideas, big things are coming. I'm so excited. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. And be sure to check out all the links that I have down in my description because I have a lot of different ways to keep in touch with me and kind of know what's going on firsthand because it is easier just to post something on Instagram <laughs> rather than it is to like film and edit and post on YouTube. That's a bit more time consuming. So always uh, be the first to know everything from Instagram. And it's just Bria Krista. I'll have all the links down in the description. Thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. The past few months have just been crazy, and there's been a lot going on in my family and my life, and I hope this video kind of helps you understand a little bit more. I know that the last year was a hard year for everybody, and in a way, it was a really good year, but then also some of life's um, events made it a hard year as well. Um, definitely call a loved one. Uh, visit with your family, call a friend, call your grandma, call your grandpa, um, make amends with people, forgive, um, spend time with people because life is so short and um, things change often. I know we all get busy, we're all super busy, um, but definitely take time to let the people that you love, let them know that you love them and just call and chat with them. I swear it like makes their whole day and it'll make you feel better too. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I look forward to seeing you over on my Instagram page. And I will see you very soon in a new video. I do have a couple that are coming very soon. And I'm just excited for everything this year. So I hope you guys are excited too. I love you. Um, also, if you have anything, like any prayer requests, leave them down below in the comments. I would love, love, love to pray for you guys. All right. I love you guys. And I will see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye.